Namaste, friends. That means welcome. Come along with Bayside Extended Learning Program as we take you on an adventurous tour of the beautiful nation of India. You'll learn all about the language of India with Miss Monique, experience fun facts with Miss Veronica and information about the flag. You'll also learn about music and dance with myself, Miss India, and the Festival of Holly with Miss Jen. You'll also see and hear about tasty dishes with Mr. Jorge. You'll learn about Diwali with Miss Maggie. And you'll learn fun games with Miss D. Enjoy! Hi friends, welcome to a tour of India. And I am going to talk to you about language. So let's get started. Did you know that there are 22 different languages in India? Here's a map that shows you that most of the language spoken is Hindi. Really cool, right? So the most popular ones is Hindi and English. And today I'm actually going to teach you how to speak a little Hindi. Pretty exciting. Um, so first we're going to learn how to say hello, goodbye, please, and thank you. And the numbers one through five. So let's get started. First is hello. Repeat after me. Hello means hello. Hello. Goodbye means Alvida. Alvida. Is please, please me Kripya. Kripya. Thank you means Honeybad. Honeybad. And next, I'm going to teach you the numbers one through five, which are very simple. It Number one is Eek. Number two is Do. Number three is teen. Number four is shad. Number five is punch. Thank you for watching and hopefully you learned some Hindi today. Now, up next is Ms. Veronica talking to you about the flag and some fun facts. So keep on watching. The Indian flag is a rectangular and horizontal flag. It has three equal bands that are horizontal. Its colors are a deep saffron, which is orange, white, and green. The orange stands for sacrifice, the white stands for peace, honesty, and purity, and the green one stands for confidence and progress. In the center, there is a navy blue wheel, which has 24 spokes. Did you know that the Indian flag is made from khadi fabric? Khadi fabric is a handmade natural fiber with cotton, and sometimes it includes silk and wool. The Indian flag is also called tiranga, which means tricolor. The flag of India is a national symbol. It is a symbol of the unity of India. The flag was officially adopted on July 22, 1947, and it was designed by Pingali Venkayan. One, about 1.2 billion people live in India. Two, India is located in South Asia, and its capital is New Delhi. Three, the currency in India is the rupee. 4. Cows are seen as sacred in India. Nobody eats beef and most people are vegetarians. 5. Women in India wear sarees and men wear dhotis. Both are long pieces of cloth wrap around the body in a certain way. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. And now, Miss India will teach us about the wonderful music and dance of India. Can you guys guess which nation I represent? If you guess India, you're absolutely correct. India's music can be divided into four categories. String, wind, drums, and non-percussion instruments. My favorite is the sound of the sitar. Sitar, which means three strings in Persian language, is a stringed instrument that resembles a guitar with seven plus strings. The extra strings are called sympathetic strings that vibrate underneath the frets. Sitars can be heard in classical music in India. The cost of the average sitar is anywhere from $300 to $4,500 US dollars. Are you guys ready to learn some Bangra moves? Okay, well put on something that you can move around in. I put on something a little fancy for this special occasion. With good music always comes good dancing. Dance is a very important part of the Indian culture. Hand gestures, body movement, and positions are all important along with head alignment, which are highly emphasized during an Indian dance. Today, I will show you some dance moves. 
alarm called the bangra. The bangra is a popular music that consists of Punjabi folk traditions and Western pop. Here goes. Next up is Miss Jen with the Festival of Holly. give you a quick rundown on how Holi is celebrated in India. Holi is known as the festival of colors as you can see here at the Taj Mahal. It is celebrated throughout India which is located here but it is also celebrated throughout the world. Holi is important because it marks the beginning of spring and it is celebrated in March after a full moon. On the night before Holi, People hold large bonfires, which is said to get rid of evil spirits. Then, on the next day, colored powder is sold at markets, such as this one. People celebrate Holi by splashing colored powder and water in the air and at each other, like in this picture. Each color being thrown has a different meaning. For example, red symbolizes love. After a full day of fun, laughter, dancing, and splashing colored powder everywhere, Families come together at the end of the day to have a feast. And that's it for my segment. Thank you for watching and learning about Holi with me. And up next, Mr. Jorge will teach you how to make an Indian cuisine. That means hello, Besa in Punjabi. Today I'm gonna show you how to make curry, which is an Indian food. But before we go to the kitchen, remember always to have an adult supervision with you at all times. And if you're wondering what's the building behind me, that's the Taj Mahal, which is very popular around the world. So let's go to the kitchen. Need a half a jar of curry paste basmati rice, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of uh, cilantro chopped, as well as three cloves of chopped garlic, one medium onion chopped, and 250 grams of breast chicken, as well as cream. So you're gonna want to start cooking the rice first so it will be finished this at the same time as the curry then you're gonna fry onion with olive oil until golden brown then you're gonna add the garlic you're gonna add half a jar of curry paste then you're gonna add half a quarter of a cup of water and you're gonna mix it well until the water evaporates. Then you're gonna pour the chicken breast, all 250 grams. And you might have to put a little bit more water, like three quarters of a cup and then you're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about uh, 10 minutes after 10 minutes you're gonna uncover it and you're gonna let it uh you're gonna let it simmer on low heat until chicken is cooked and then you're gonna add cilantro and cream and you can serve it with rice and enjoy. Hi 
kids, I'm going to show you some of the ways of the festivals from India. Diwali is one of the biggest festivals in the East. Diwali assembles the victory of good over evil, the light over darkness. So these are, one of them are different colors and they throw them in the sky. It's like a candle and a lot of people go and see the festival on the night and they take pictures. They hang out outside and so they can see all different kinds of shit. The other one I'm going to show you is Rangoli. The purpose of Rangoli is, is to feel the strength and the g generosity for the being good luck. It means that these symbols, different colors, they change. It's like it moves around. You can make it with... And, with rice, you can make it with flowers, with colors, and it's just the vibration of rangolis. These these are give you good luck. That's what it means. And now Miss D will go over some games that kids will enjoy and playing in India. Hello Bayside. Hope you all are staying healthy, happy, and safe while you're at home. Have you ever wondered what kids in India like to play? I'm sure they love to play video games, just like all of you. But also, they like to play other games, similar to the ones here in the United States, except they have different names. One of the games that's real popular that they play in India is called cricket. It's very similar to baseball. They play it with a bat, bow and a bat. They also like to play a game called Lagori or Pithu. It involves a ball and a pile of flat stones. Another real popular game there is called Kancha, which we know as marbles. Another popular game played in India is called Gili Danda. And it's played with a small piece of wood that's carved down on each side and a long piece of wood that is called the Danda that they use to hit the gilly with. They also play Coco, which is like, it, which is tag, like we call it tag here. They also love to play Stapu, which we know as hopscotch. And a fun game that all kids love to play is called Chip, Chipam Chupai, which we know as hide and seek. Even though India is 7,504 miles away from California, kids there are not so different than the kids here. They love to play games and have fun. I hope you enjoyed learning about what kids in India love to play. It's so fun to learn new things about people in our world. Always remember to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds so you can stay healthy. We miss you all so much, and we hope we see you soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye. I hope you enjoyed our tour with our Bayside Extended Learning Program. Thanks for watching.